Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palitska International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to have another fun creating a different kind of things. You can have a wee preview of it in here. Yeah, a beautiful necklace and I hope you really enjoy and have fun recreating a similar looks. Let's start! <laughs> The necklace, uh, I think, is going to be a super cool idea. But before we start doing a necklace, I want to show you as well. And uh, this is a bracelet I have made, and this is all the nail product. So basically, it is a gel, and then some stones. Like, and it's awesome stuff. It just goes on on the hand. It looks really uh, pretty, actually. I have also done some rings as well. And same, there is a tutorial on those rings. Actually, this one is super cool. I will show you that as well. So. They are awesome. Oh, my fingers got fat. <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to go. Yeah. Okay, I can't fit it in. And that was measured to the finger. How funny is that? Okay, so so the rings uh, is a super cool stuff as well. And that's made of acrylics and then the nail gems as well. And today we are going to do the pedant. So it is actually a really uh, great fun creating uh, those stuff. And I will give you the uh, link. Uh, to this uh, tutorials as well, or you can just search Palitska acrylic rings. Because I think it's a really great fun, especially now when we cannot do the clients. Okay, so let's do the pendant. Uh, what I did, I put a drop of the blue tack. Blue tack is like a um, sticky plastiline. And then the pendant, pendant necklace base is going on top of it. Uh, try to put it in a one level uh, just so everything looks cool. And I, I like my bling so I don't want to encapsulate their flowers or the stuff like that and I thought it will be nice to do it with the glitter. So what I'm going to do it is use the fiber gel and clear. So fiber gel and clear and I think we'll do two because I'm not sure would I want the Swarovski crystals pixie one or just like on Swarovski crystals? And I think like it would be so expensive actually to to buy those kind of necklace. Uh, so handmade one is actually pretty cool as well. The base of the pedants you can buy it in um, like online and they're pretty cheap. I can't remember because cameraman actually got it for me ages ago. When was it? Yeah, ages, ages ago. And it was just lying in a drawer waiting for me to start doing it. I have put a thin base of the Build Your Gel, the fiber gel. And now what I'm going to do is I will sprinkle it with the glitter. And I show you guys what glitter I'm using as well. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty actually. So the glitter I'm using is Jack Frost by Glitter Stella and she's on Facebook. Uh, I actually got it I think from eBay. Yeah. So Jack Frost by, Glit by Glitter Stella and it's an absolutely amazing glitter. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. So I'm just taking another scoop and kind of mixing it all together. Absolutely amazing glitter. Now I am confused like should I do it just uh, the glitter on its own because it looks so pretty. Uh, clean wipe just to clean my brush because I don't want to dip in into my clear pot of the gel. And I'm picking up another scoop. You could also pre-mix your glitter like on the um, empty pot or something. I just going straight into the pendant. Pendant. Oh necklace. Okay, again, I need to clean my brush just before I dip it in. And it's actually super cool because you've got those uh, space for this glitter uh, to be inside the necklace, which is awesome. Okay, I'm trying to distribute the gel really nice and evenly. I 
think it looks pretty just the way it is. I think it will be a shame to cover it with the crystals because my first idea was to put some Swarovski crystals on top of it so it will look like a Swarovski crystals necklace. Mm. And honestly, it would cost a fortune to buy it. But now I'm not sure because this looks so pretty. So distribute this glitter really, really well. Okay, and now just leave it the way it is, uh, so it sells level. I think I need to do another one like this because it's so pretty and then keep one plain and one with the crystals. But I also want to show you the Swarovski pixie one. They're so quick to do it, so I can actually show you a couple because I think it is honestly so much fun to do it. So just a quick spoon. And this one is self-leveling, so a couple minutes longer and I will be able to put it inside the lamp. You could also use the chrome, you could honestly anything, like anything you use for a needles, you could use it uh, for those necklaces. And then a large scoop of the gel again. What else I like about them, the bottom is kind of like a rough surface. It's not slidey, so the gel attach really, really well to it. Okay, this one has self-level, so I'm just popping it inside the lamp. And now going to play with this one. As I say, you could do exactly the same process by mixing it in an empty pot of an old gel. Mine is pretty brand new, so I don't want to do it. Like, make sure the glitter doesn't stick out from the frame as well. I'm just massaging a gel into a nice flat shape. And this is a gel sponge. I'm just removing any excess of the glitter from the edges. Yeah, I think this base is the nicest one. So it looks almost like a silver. And perfect. Give it a couple seconds. You can also flatten some parts of the glitter if it's necessary with the sponge as well. And I'm using this technique for the needles as well and I'm enc encapsulating the glitter. Like take your time. It's something which you could uh, make it really pretty and, and wear it as well. So. Collect the glitter on the side, so I can put it back again to the back. Okay, and this one is self-leveling. So basically, um, on this one we are going to put some crystals. And I'm going to use a soak of base gel. So just a line with the base gel. And then very large crystals. That's why I know it's a shame, uh, that's why I done it another um, one just with the glitter because it's a shame to hide all this beautiful glitter now. 
uh, with the crystals but on the sides we have empty space that's why I have choose the glitter and now just Swarovski crystals looks how pretty it is I think it is an absolutely first of all an absolutely amazing gift idea uh, for someone actually no maybe let's do it them on the side even more like let's do it like this yeah that's nicer okay so large one square large one square large one square large one And then she changed the mind and goes back to the same position. No, that's that will go like this. So now I just need to make sure the crystals are in a really nice position. It's actually so blinny that it's hard to catch any imperfections. I really want to take my time like I don't want to speed up this part guys I want to make sure it is perfect so I could really wear it cameraman do you think it's straight so nice but I don't see straight away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it looks beautiful but it's just the light it's reflection so wow it's awesome actually let me see how it looks in camera so pretty as well guys I hope you are liking this tutorial like it is simple stuff like um you know you could do it with your kids as well as a fun day uh, that's what I would do with Olivia oh gosh is it straight I want to make sure it's perfect okay ish give it a cure <laughs> So I'm just going to freeze this one. That's why it's also important that uh, you place the pendant quite straight as well. But this one looks so pretty on its own, to be honest, a top coat and that's it. Like I'm, I'm going to keep it, uh, definitely I will make one uh, on its own, just clear like the way it is. But let me check something else. So a base gel, because I'm really curious about it as well. Drop of the base gel. Top coat. The reason for a top coat is the base has the inhibition layer and the top coat doesn't have. And now Swarovski crystals, Pixie. Cameraman, I need to buy some new ones because I'm going to use the last ones for it. Now they are the true Swarovski crystals, and this is um, a cheaper stuff from eBay, so you can tell the difference. Oh gosh, for a Jill, uh, ah, I've got a dilemma. Should I keep this one for my nails or should I use it for a pendant? I will order for you. You will order for me, yeah? Okay, I can use it for pendant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he, he says you have heard it as well, so I'm just getting a new one. So I'm just sprinkle it with the real Swarovski crystals. Oh wow. This is pretty. Let me take a sponge because I'm always sponging it as well so they stays on. This is pretty. Wow. This is very pretty. And actually, I think I'm definitely going to wear it. So I'm checking the side view now, guys, because I want to make sure the crystals are attached really well. You don't want to lose it. 
and then just picking up the ones which have dropped down I can add them as an extra ones perfect and then give it a cure on the one with the Swarovski crystals we have to put the top coat around it so I'm just going to use and also clean it from the wax as well you can see it guys there is a wax so what I'm doing I'm going to take my top coat and a medium sized brush <laughs> some medium sized brush and the top coat around it because you don't want to put this top coat on top of the crystals and then we will clean it and I'll show you as well because I'm always also cleaning a client's nails um, as well when we use the gem picker like from the wax residue The reason why we are also applying this top coat is uh, there is a base and we wanted it to be nice and shiny not sticky and it will also give those extra uh, secureness to the crystals as well now give it a cure yeah, and definitely on my own I will make one more just with the glitter and just top coat it so basically we will do exactly everything exactly the same and try to keep it as much uh, smooth as possible with your gel even leave it for five minutes like for the gel to self level and then just apply the top coat over it so you've got a really nice and smooth surface um, for the glitter one and now let's check the Swarovski one so a couple seconds longer I have just turned it into the right uh, position put this into the side and honestly it's so much fun creating those kind of uh, stuff and actually I didn't use as much of the pixie but yeah the difference is huge like the difference is huge from the true ones and and here I've got the mixture because they are two different types one is a Swarovski crystal pixie petite size and they are really tiny ones like you can see it and then the H and I've got to mix it uh, two of them in a one bottle because I don't like the H1 and uh, yeah this is so cool and it's not as rough either um, because we have used the sponge to dab it in but let me show you at the different angles it looks so pretty in a real life camera I need to get uh, not zoom but out of focus because then the uh, crystals are always more sparkly yeah just so you can I see it and then this one let me know also which one you like better uh, as well but um, you can see there is a wax so once the nails are cured what I'm doing is I'm taking the wipe and I'm just cleaning the wax off because we didn't top coat the crystals we can really make them nice and shiny okay and that's oh that's so beautiful and that's the other necklace which we have created so you prefer this one yeah <laughs> so cameraman prefer this one I think so as well but they're both nice like this one doesn't show in a camera I think it just doesn't yeah there is uh, lots of colors in as well I'm trying to turn this way okay left and closer okay yeah it has different colors as well but yeah I'm not sure which one I I prefer it guys they both kind of uh, pretty and you just buy like an even a silver uh, chain for it as well like not too thin and you can wear it and it looks really fashion and it doesn't look handmade uh, so absolutely amazing idea for a gift now you have to hit the share button for me pretty 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 please <laughs> and uh, I'm sending you glittery hacks and bye for now also let me know if you want to see more of those kind of tutorials kind of uh, DIY but also nail related as well big hacks bye